and welcome back or if this is the first video of mine that you're watching hello my name is sarah and um, make sure to subscribe if you want to keep watching my videos um but today we are doing another q a slash assumptions i just threw that in there as well and um, because i got such uh good responses on the last one like people were texting me like oh my god i'm crying laughing sorry <laughs> not to like to my own horn or anything but like so many of my friends and like random people as well text me and they're like that was funny so i was like this is good so why wouldn't i do another one so i put up a post on my instagram story basically asking people to ask me questions or like make assumptions about me and i also was like make them interesting <laughs> people did make them interesting i also put up a link to like for people to ask anonymous questions and people took full privilege of that um, there are some interesting ones that i may not be answering but anyways we'll get we'll get to that soon i have all the questions here and yeah i think yeah i guess i'm just gonna answer them oh my god also from my last q a right so i had a few boy stories in the first q a and basically um one of the boys who I talked about watched the video. He better not be watching this one. I'm so sorry if I keep talking about you, but this is just funny. Sorry. Anyways, it was actually really nice. Okay, tell the story, Sarah. Basically, he watched the video and texted me. <laughs> he texted me to apologize for his behavior. I, I saw he was typing and I was like, oh no he's gonna ask me to take a video down i'm exposing his life um but no that, it was actually really nice like i do really appreciate that like very mature so thank you we, we've put that in the past i held a grudge but the grudge is now gone so <laughs> just thought i'd put that out there so maybe i'll just start exposing more people on my youtube and then they'll all apologize to me for everything every wrongdoing that they've ever done anyways <laughs> we're just gonna get into the video now and i'm gonna start um asking the questions also please excuse my hair it's greasy and it's frizzy and today was not a hair washing day so we're just gonna have to deal with this also it's still slightly pink i thought it wasn't pink anymore but i can still see mm, slight hints of pink in my hair but that's besides the point it's fine okay sarah start the questions right i have all like the questions here we're just gonna start oh my god okay right you're really smart that's so nice um no um no i actually right i actually did do quite well in secondary school like i did well in my leave insert but that was because i was in a class full of geniuses like when i say geniuses my two best friends got like over 600 points in their leave insert and i was nowhere near that but i think because i was in a class with all these smart people i just had to be smart or else i'd look like an actual idiot but now i feel like my iq is that the thing has gone down down very rapidly because college is not the same situation i am quite smart but i'm not anything i'm not crazily smart smart no no um you're confident these are these are really nice sorry um yeah i would say i am quite confident like <laughs> yeah i am very confident uh which is a good thing and bad well no like i can be very shy like when i want to be like if i'm around people that like make me nervous or like um like i don't really know that well like i can be quite shy but like once i like i'm comfortable where i am and stuff like that like i'm so confident it's i don't know it's a good thing and a bad thing um and like obviously to do youtube you need to be quite confident i think personally but yeah like i wasn't very confident in secondary school but like when i went to college like i feel like i gained a lot of confidence and like just fucked everything out the window when i was like f you to everyone like i just don't care what people think no not that i don't care what people think of me obviously there's still part of me that's like oh my god i'm not wearing my rings one second mm, sorry but yeah obviously you're gonna care um slightly what people think sometimes depending on who the person is and stuff like that but i am confident long story short you're really nice these are so kind um depending on the person you ask i suppose like i would like to think i'm nice but maybe i've been mean to some people who knows um you work in a shop i do work in a shop i work in jimmy superstore shout out to jimmy's <laughs> imagine he was watching this he's not but anyways um yes i work at the weekends i used to work kind of full-time before christmas but i just work at the weekends now and it's a great job it's very handy 
very nice people work there i'm friends with a lot of people there so it's good you don't eat much so you can have a great body right okay this is not okay right Woo. this is a bit of a taboo subject um i don't eat much that's true but i don't the reason i don't eat much is not because i want to have a good body um i don't eat much because i'm like extremely fussy or like i literally i was having this conversation with someone the other day like i don't like any food apart from chocolate now chocolate and like crisps and stuff like that love them but like normal people food i don't like any of it like i like chips there is a, like i like chicken goujons but like it's like i tolerate eating them like i don't enjoy eating them i wouldn't be like oh yeah let me go home and have some chicken goujons you know what i mean um i like i just tolerate a lot of food not even a lot of foods there's just a lot that i don't like um and probably because I don't eat that much that like my body is probably good-ish like I'm not going to say I have a great body or anything like that because of that um but I also do play football and I do exercise and stuff like that um I also have a really small appetite even for the foods I do eat so yeah but the reason I don't eat is not to have a good body and nobody should do that because eating healthy is extremely important for getting a good body and I wish I could do that but We'll get into that another day it is like a big part of my life um don't know why i just did the peace time there but yeah i do struggle with like eating normal food anyways moving on i love your youtube videos that's so kind thank you um you have a northern ireland accent but live in the south there's another question as well and it says are you from donegal not from donegal i do I don't hear it but people say that I do have a northern irish like a donegal accent because like some words i say and stuff like that but I don't hear it some people in my family don't hear it but a lot of people do hear it it's because some of my best friends are from Donegal and my best friend Chifra I've said this before I talk to her every day she sends me voice notes every day I'm just used to hearing her voice and I obviously just pick up some of the things that she's saying so that's the reason please don't come for me I'm not trying to be anyone else it's just my just the way it happens uh oh there's a question that I'm not gonna even um uh, boop, boop um okay what are you studying in college um i study business with marketing in Maynooth. i'm in my final year of my three years not gonna say i love it like to be honest mm, it's not great it's a bit boring but i couldn't picture myself really doing anything else like i do picture myself in business in the future it's just getting the degree that's killing me right now because there's it's very broad and you have to just learn everything and i'm not interested in everything if you get me so yes um you're in a really happy place at the moment I wouldn't say I'm in like the happiest place that I've ever been but I'm certainly not in a, like a bad place um like at the minute I really do hate college like I'm not even gonna lie um it like I struggle to do the lectures I just hate waking up every day thinking like I have to I love my weekends because I don't have to think about it but other than that like you know like like I love my friend like who my friends are at the minute I'm so happy with all my friends like everything like that and stuff and obviously being in a global pandemic not the best situation but I think we've just learned, well, I've learned to live with it. Um, and I, yeah, I'm not in the best place. I've been in better places, but I'm not, definitely not in the worst place. Whew. Um, okay. There's two questions here and they say, any boys on the go or are you with or seeing anyone at the minute? <laughs> um, kind of moving on moving on well looks your personality in a guy sorry oh god okay um right let's see starting off it would be looks because like you're gonna like if you don't know the person you have to judge them off your looks like you're not just gonna go over them because you're gonna be like well they don't look nice but let me go for them anyways maybe you will maybe you will i just don't personally do that no okay right whatever anyways start off with looks but then like obviously their personality has to match mine like if I don't like their personality I'm not going to stay like talking to them seeing them etc whatever you want to go with um because like why would you do that if they don't have a good personality they can fuck off um so yeah looks first and then personality but then again like you could be talking to someone as a friend and you really like their personality and then they just then you they grow on you and maybe looks don't no looks are definitely a factor for me I'm sorry sorry but they are there best compliment you've ever gotten um let me see actually one time sorry this is gonna sound so vain of me but i was asking someone what like their favorite thing about me was 
why don't know i'm just curious anyways and i was expecting like you know the way when you ask a person's like favorite thing about you like depending on who they are um they probably say something about like your looks or that type thing but they're like your confidence and i was like oh like that's so nice i think that because i like i like my confidence like i think that's a good trait about myself so for someone else to acknowledge that that was really nice that's the best compliment god bless do you feel like you've missed out on life experiences this past year a hundred percent um i feel like i wanted to do a lot this year that i just didn't get to do but then again i also feel like without lockdown i wouldn't be in like situations that i am in now and like ha wouldn't have done things that i have done now so i wouldn't regret the fact that this all happened obviously i regret it for the fact of what it's done for like people's lives etc but in my life like i wouldn't say i wish this didn't happen no i don't know how i'm phrasing this i do have missed out on experiences but i've definitely experienced other things that i wouldn't have experienced because this like starting a youtube say like i wouldn't have done that if this hadn't happened i don't think so there's pros and cons to it but i wouldn't say i regret any of it anyways <laughs> sorry i saw this question thing last night and it's not an anonymous <laughs> it's not an anonymous one so i know who it's from which just makes it funny but anyways they said not an assumption but merely a fact that you're the most beautiful girl i've ever seen i mean what can i say <laughs> sorry i'm so annoyed i'm so sorry no uh this person i hope you're watching this video because like it's just the way that they go on you just know sorry anyways not over you giving shifra flowers instead of me anyways and ghosting sorry what moving on do you have an only fans or would you consider doing one well guys actually i actually have to tell you something i uh no i'm joking sarah shut up no i don't have an only fans um would i consider doing one not really it's not really my thing like just not for me but like fair play to anyone who does do it like because they're making some serious money off that uh paying that thing off only fans and i am so jealous but i just wouldn't be comfortable with doing it um probably would never consider doing it but i commend anyone who has done it why are you so hot guys oh my god everyone's trying to make my head huge in my uh question box um i don't know it's in the jeans what can i say ask my mother <laughs> uh your real body count Oop. see this is what i mean about people were not holding back with their um questions um we're just gonna pass on that one like i did in my last video apologies oh my god some of these questions um <laughs> i'm sorry there's three questions here um i don't even want to say them they're just questions related to you know you can imagine imagine what they're related to and that's why i'm not answering them okay well most embarrassing sex story excuse me <laughs> sorry my parents watch this and i am a child of god uh oh my god people did not hold back did you feel scared at first doing youtube because you live in such a small town 100 percent. oh my god like you don't even want to know how many conversations i had with my friends about this because i was so petrified um to start and like even sometimes now i'm still scared post them because i do think about what other people would think but then i'm like sarah cop on like it doesn't matter but no i was extremely extremely scared um especially again because athlone is such a small town and like people talk like you know what i mean so but yeah it's gone really well I haven't gotten any hate yet so it's fine from a wealthy background people are going in um no i wouldn't say i'm from a wealthy background um like my parents work hard like in their jobs and stuff like that and save well and apart from that like i'm just i wouldn't say anything about my background is wealthy anyways you seem really laid back but in a good way you don't take life too seriously by the way i love your videos that's so nice mm, that's so kind um yeah if i was any more laid back i would be horizontal i do not take life too seriously at all like i just go with the flow most of the time like see what happens like there's no i just think there's no point in planning too far into the future because we never know what's gonna happen more boy stories please uh okay uh let me see the boy stories were a great hit in the last video i believe because i've experienced so many of them let me think 
um okay this is actually an interesting one. Oh god okay so one time i was with this boy and i was like friends with his friends okay and one of my friends happened to be getting with one of his friends right and oh god these people are definitely gonna be watching this i'm so sorry i'm just telling this story no hard feelings um it was a night out in college and we were going to a nightclub and there was in the nightclub there was an upstairs and a downstairs but they had them like separated so even if you were in the downstairs you couldn't get up to the upstairs because it was a really busy night it was actually like christmas day in Maynooth. anyways so i got into the downstairs part and i like i had lost all my friends because christmas day is just crazy like you know people are going everywhere and the boy that i was getting with was upstairs but a few of his friends were downstairs and one of his friends that i was like closer with was downstairs was like one of the only people i knew in the downstairs part so i was with him because he was trying to get to the upstairs part as well as me so we were both trying to get upstairs but the bouncers just weren't having it like they wouldn't let anyone from the downstairs part go to the upstairs part anyways um so we were like right we'll just enjoy our christmas day while we can get a few drinks you know what i mean um all that sort of stuff and like i was just going around with his friends i also found a few of my own friends at the stage like i was going around with different people but mostly him because he was trying to get upstairs as well um and then <laughs> basically um the girl that i was friends with and that he was getting with arrived to the nightclub and started calling me names she oh my god i can't believe i'm so oh god i'm so sorry if you're watching this but anyways yeah she started calling me names because basically people were telling her and like the boy i was getting with that me and the friend were getting with each other which was just not true at all like we were literally just friends and she started calling me names called me a slut Ooh which is lovely you know nice name to be called um was not happy with me at all was not really happy with him but like was more angry at me which doesn't really make sense to me but anyways yeah so then the boy that i was getting with also then decided to get mad at me because apparently i was trying to get with the best friend which wasn't true and basically wouldn't speak to me then uh really funny story not friends with either of them anymore i'm actually friends with the friend that's i am the closest with him out of all of them now so funny times anyways sorry if you're watching no hard feelings like literally no hard feelings but i just thought that'd be a funny story to tell moving on um <laughs> right this is the last one i'm gonna answer you want to go to the beach and scream something at the top of your lungs out of the water um can't say it's an urge of mine to do that no i also don't have a beach near me so that would be illegal so no Anyways, I've been talking for so long. That is all the questions that I am going to go through now. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope this was interesting. Anywho, yes, hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. Sorry that I didn't post last week, but uh, it's just really, sometimes I'm just really unmotivated, which is annoying. Like, I don't like being like that. But anyways, it's also like hard to do things when we're in lockdown. Like, it's not like I can do a vlog of me going somewhere because I can't leave the county anyways so yeah like and subscribe i really would appreciate it um it would be so helpful um if you enjoy my videos and stuff like that i want to see more of them but yeah stay tuned for more and i will see you in the next video bye